Okay, so Dubious Con here has the Portal Board Game. So, we're gonna try this out. How do you play? Okay. Basic object of the game is to acquire more cake than your, the other players. You acquire cake by activating test chambers, and then once you have more cake than the other players, then your job is to kill off every, some players' test subjects. If anybody loses all their test subjects, game's over, whoever's got the most cake wins. Okay. <laughs> the board is modular. Mm -hmm. Let's see here, modular. Each one is a test chamber, double sided. <laughs> All right, so everybody gets three cards, so you can play cards. Basically, deploy, move. Deploy means play a card. Move is moving your test subjects throughout the chamber. Activate is when you activate a test chamber, which means you get whatever little rewards are on here. So, for example, this test chamber, if you activate it, gets you two test subjects and a cake. Okay. I'm not quite sure what the Aperture logo means. I'm going to have to look at that and double check. All right. All right. Um, everybody gets one of these. I'll give you the blue. Get down to the yellow. I'll take the red. You get the purple. Purple it is. All right. Um, when you're deploying a card, you can ignore the actions printed on the card. You can instead deploy the portal gun, which will let you basically link two test chambers anywhere on the board together. For the purposes of the game, um, those two test chambers are connected, okay. no matter where they are on the board. Okay. 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 <laughs> that's a lot of cake right off the bat. <laughs> but I guess that's the way it is. All right. That's a lot of fish. That's a lot of fish. A lot of cake. A lot of fish-shaped solid waste in that cake. Mm -hmm. Okay, now periodically certain chambers will activate other things like, you know, everybody's favorite, the companion cube and the turret. <laughs> Um, we'll get to that in just a minute. I know the setup. Riveting. Riveting. Like I'm sure your fans are enjoying the hell out of this. This a riveting setup footage. Is gold. Gold. Well it's probably gonna be sped up, so. Well I guess now I have to. Oh, it's gonna be racing. <laughs> Except for this part. Start off with No, this has to be in real time. Five chambers oh. wide, damn it. But can grow to any number of chambers wide. Okay. So these three will set off to the side for the moment. While you're setting up, here's the players. And we also have Leon with us too. And Leon's here. I'm Hi. here. <laughs> Observing. Yeah. Okay, so pretty much you need to know this thing moves kind of like a conveyor belt. You can activate it one as we go, we'll, things will get recycled and move around. Everything, this is the new edge of the laboratory, this is the old edge of the laboratory. Anything that new that comes in, if the chamber gets recycled, gets put over on the side. Right. Okay. And you can pretty much activate any of them. So anything that gets activated, it then gets activated, then it gets recycled. All right. So.
leftover touch cameras that are used in each game, set them aside. Yeah, maybe yep. ended up in there. Tilt the aperture cards and place them on the planet with the aperture sides facing up so everyone can see them. Okay, so these are cards you can deploy in each uh, in your during your turn. There's a whole bunch of them. There's a whole bunch of different stuff. However, here's the kicker: when you discard a card, it's double-sided and has a character from Portal in there. Every time there's a character up there, that's a rule that goes into effect for the game. Like when you activate Caroline, once at the start of each player's turn, they may choose to incinerate one of their cake slices to earn three test subjects. That rule stays in effect until somebody discards another one and somebody else puts one in. Let's see. Right there. No. All right, each player delivers four test subjects to the new edge of the laboratory. So everybody gets one test subject in the top chamber, which will be here, two test subjects in the middle chamber, and one test subject in the bottom chamber. Okay. Place the portal tokens at the old edge of the laboratory up there and up there. That essentially makes these two, any two uh, chambers that have the portal tokens in them, they're essentially adjacent for the okay. purposes of movement. Okay. The player who most recently ate cake goes first. Okay. What everybody ate last night? Uh, I have not had cake in years. Literally years. I... Did anybody have any of Mendo's zebra cakes? I did. No, I didn't. So I guess Mike... Mikey gets to go first. All right. Okay. As the right. guy who has not played this game before, and frankly... Nobody has played this game before, so... And frankly, hasn't played any Portal game except the first one. Yeah. That was ten years ago. Of course I'm the first one. Was okay. it ten years? was ten years ago. About that, yeah. It was close to ten years ago. Yeah. Wow. All right, throughout the game, players will earn cake slices that are delivered into the laboratory. Players must be careful to protect their cake from being incinerated by other players or the steady march of progress. The game immediately ends when any player has no remaining test subjects in the laboratory. At this point, the player with the most cake slices in the laboratory is declared the winner. Only cake slices currently occupying chambers are in the laboratory. Instead of a tie, the player with most test subjects in the laboratory is declared the winner. If any divisions are still tied, they may be appeal their case in ten words or less to the other divisions or anyone nearby and put it up to a vote. None of these ten words may contain the letter E. Good luck. Good God. <laughs> If any player has had all eight of their cake slices incinerated, this also immediately ends the game. Once cake is gone, it is gone. Test subjects, however, are an infinite supply. <laughs> all right. Hang on one second. I gotta figure out what the hell's going on here. Do we get any cards to start with or not? You're not being clear. Welcome to our blind let's play at the Portal board game. Pretty much. <laughs> Something I do You're like is Lost of All of You. Is that if, you it, if you don't have Portal 2, it comes with it. Yeah, you get a Steam key for Portal 2 if you don't have it already. Cool. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. So yeah, if you okay, you, you must move. All right, so I guess that's what the actual Aperture logo means. Whenever you activate a test chamber, you get a card. That's how that works. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, you must move some or all of your test subjects from a single test chamber to an adjacent test chamber destination. So, for example, you can either move, a, you can move, um, let's see, yeah, so these are all considered adjacent to the center one. So you can move all of them in one test chamber to that one, you can move some of them, some of them to another test chamber. What you cannot do is move one test subject there and one test subject there. Okay. All right. You, it's all or not. It's all some or nothing, pretty much. All right. All right. Uh, but can you move uh, two uh, test subjects from two chambers in the, in the same space? I beg your pardon. Yes. Okay. You can. Okay. Yes. There is no limit to the amount of test subjects that can be in one chamber. But can they come from different chambers? No. I think you're starting from. You have to pick one chamber. Oh, okay. There. Yeah. All right, now, to activate a test chamber, you're only allowed to activate test chambers on the old edge of the laboratory, from what I understand. All right. Um, 
You activate it by taking GLaDOS and placing her in that test chamber. Alright. The player with the majority of test subjects in the activated activated test chamber. Yeah, the test chamber you choose doesn't need to contain your test subjects or any test subject. You can activate whichever one you want. Each test subject icon, or let's see, if no players are rewarded, if there are no test subjects in the chamber, or if there's a tie for the majority. Anyone who's got the majority test subjects in that chamber gets the reward. All right. So, little old man right here, that's test subjects. You're in a test subject for the activated chamber's majority player. Rewarded test subjects are delivered into the test chambers at the new edge of the lab. Each cake slice earns a cake slice for the activated chamber's majority player. Rewarded cake is also delivered together or separate into test chambers at the new edge. After icon earns the cards. Players may have at most three cards in their hands. Once a player has three cards, they cannot earn more. Cards can only be used during the deploy action the next turn. Uh, after all the rewards have been delivered, you must recycle the chamber that contains the Gladys token, flip its panel over, and place it on the new edge of the laboratory. The activated chamber is always recycled even when no players have returned the wards. This destroys all test subjects in the recycled chamber. Destroyed test subject tokens are collected by their owner for later use. Any cake that's left in a recycled test chamber is then incinerated and must remain in the playmat's cake incinerator. Unlike destroyed test subjects, incinerated cake cannot be earned again. Other tokens in the recycled chamber, such as portals, remain in that chamber. Recycled test chambers will be added to any row if you're choosing on the new edge of the lab. However, if it grows less than three chambers wide, the recycled chamber must be added to the new edge of that row. So if you can, like, if you flew these three, you could put them all, like, in this row right here, if you felt like it, or whatever. Note, if picking up a recycled la chamber would break the laboratory into two trunk chunks, you cannot activate that chamber. Alright, alright. Anytime a player deploys an after card, they may choose to ignore the actions put on the card and instead deploy the portal gun. This allows the player to place the two portal tokens in two different test chambers. However, neither token may be placed in a chamber on the old edge of the laboratory. The portal token may end up on the old edge, but may not be placed there when deploying the tokens. Though the portal gun requires an after card to be deployed, there's no limit to how many times it can be deployed during the game. So we always have the portal gun. Yeah, we always have the portal gun. Whenever a player only moves a single test subject during their move action, they may choose to earn either a free test subject or an aperture card. When the last aperture card is taken, shuffle all the discarded ones, not including the top active character of the discard stack, and have another player cut the deck from the new stack. Cake can be carried by test subjects. For each test subject move, they can carry one cake slice of any color with them. Test subjects can always carry a cake slice of any color when moving to another chamber, except when being moved by force via an aperture character card. The player that owns each test subject chooses which cake slice to carry. So basically, you want to keep all your cake on this end and put all your player's cake over here on this end. Okay. So it gets wiped out. Uh, sometimes a character presents a player with an opportunity to incinerate their cake for reward. A player may choose any of their cake slices in the laboratory to incinerate. When the test chamber is recycled, incinerate all cake slices on it. Incinerated cake does not come back to a player like test subjects do. Companion cubes and turrets. A companion cube icon allows that chamber's majority player to place the companion cube in any chamber. Because test subjects are distracted by the cube, no rewards can be earned from an activated chamber that contains the, the companion cube token. A turret icon allows that chamber's majority player to move the turret locate token to an adjacent chamber. If there's no turret token currently in the lab, the majority must play, deliver it to a chamber at the new edge of the lab. All test subjects in the same test chamber as the turret are immediately destroyed. The turret has no effect on cake or other tokens in the chamber. When a test chamber containing a companion cube turret and or portal token is recycled, those tokens are replaced in the newly recycled chamber, the flip panel at the edge of the new lab. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Okay. All right. All right. So Everybody got that? Yep. I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So yeah, you can deploy cards. Nobody has any cards right now. So then you move one group of your test subjects. All righty. So I move one. Yep, you can move a group. I'll, I'll just move anything. Okay, so you've moved one of your test subjects. You have the option. You can either gain another test subject, or you can draw a card. Uh, I'll draw a card for now. Okay, and just hold on to it. Do I look at it? Or? Oh, yeah, you look... Well, see, no, the, the it, they're double-sided, so that's the side that's relevant to what you're getting. So. Okay, so... And then on your next turn, the first thing you would do is use a card if you felt like using it. Hey. hey. Hello. All right, now you get to act... Oops. Now you get to activate a test chamber. Anyone? Any of the three on the edge. So I get rid of one of them? Yeah, you just put Glad Glad Gladys is going to activate. Doesn't, yeah, just pick which one you want to get rid of and move. Uh, I'll get rid of this one, I guess. All right, so that one gets activated. That one gets immediately recycled, and you can put it anywhere. Yes, it is. Thank you. Oh, you flip it over. Yeah. There you go. You 
puts it right there. Didn't you already flip it over? No, it was the, the turret was up. Oh, okay. Was, uh, okay. So play proceeds to the left, which means it would be me. And I will move these ones down here, and this one over here. And oh, I'll no, move, yeah, you can go back to Yeah. And I will move that. This test chamber that gets recycled and move it there and put it back in right there. And yeah, okay. So good morning. Yeah, I can put that one there and that one there anyway. Yeah, I know. I got mine. Alright, uh yeah, Gonzo. Alright, uh oh, it's a portal game. Yeah. 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 I didn't know it was. cake pieces. Yeah. The uncooperative cake acquisition game. Is it real cake? No. It's not oh, it's a lie. That's uh, 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 All right, I'm going to move these two. Whoa. You can move them in any direction. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just move them forward. So I can get uh, two more test subjects. No, you only get, only if you move one test subject, you get oh, one. Okay. You get one. Any one of these three for activation. All right. Uh, activate this one. Okay. Nobody's in there. Set so rewards. Okay. All right, Rosen. All right. Well, this is easy. All right. So you can move into that test chamber. No, 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 not yet. Next move, you would be able to move that. So, but since you only move one, you can either take a card or get an extra test that quick. Okay. All right, Mikey. Right. I don't want to get to I know, deploy and cards go on the floor Right. So, at the beginning of your next turn, you can play the card. I mean, do I activate it? Like... Oh, yes, you do. I'm sorry. I got ahead of you. I'm sorry. All right. That's All right. My so, this one, this one, or that one. So you activated that one, that actually had the companion cube. <laughs> oh wait, there's no test of oh, my, sorry, my bad. My bad. Alright, alright. Now it's my turn. Yes, it is. No, you only, you only get a card if you either activate a chamber with the Aperture logo on it, or if you only move one test subject. Okay, so... I will... I'll move this guy here. Okay. So I do take a card. No. Oh yeah, yeah, you do. If you're only moving him, then yes. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Now I destroy a chamber? Yep. Okay, so it's I'll either this, this one, one, this one, or that. Oh, okay, you wipe out two of my test subjects. Okay, what do you want? Uh, I'll put it here. I flip it, right? Yep. Okay. Alright, so it becomes my turn. So I only get uh, eight extra round pieces? Or? 
Uh, no, you get cake um, whenever a you activate a test chamber that has cake, the cake symbol in it, and then it appears at the new edge. And then anybody can move cake, and the idea is just to keep your cake from ending up in the recycle in a recycle oh, chamber. Okay. It's going to get recycled. Sure. And then, of course, if you've got more cake than anyone, like right now, Rosen and I are tied. Mm -hmm. So, if you get a little conceivable cake for test subject? Uh, yeah. Okay. Get up to eight pieces of cake. Okay. So basically, um, now that Rose and I are tied, we would, we, and nobody else has cake, we could move to try to destroy our own test subjects or your test subjects or somebody's test subjects. Because if, if there's ever a point that nobody has any test subjects on the board, uh, the game ends. So. Or if somebody loses all their cake, the game ends. And that's that? Well, it means that just whoever's got the most cake in the lab at that time oh. wins. So. Are you questioning whether or not losing cake is bad? In this context, yes. <laughs> Wait. Oh, in any context. What kind of cake? It appears to be chocolate. The best kind. The best kind. Chocolate's not the best. All right, so it's my turn. Um, I agree. I'm going like your opinion. So I'm going to move. Let's see what I got. What's the rule I can do? I can return the stack there. All right. I'm going to move one test subject and take a card. And uh, I'm going to activate this one. Nobody's in there, so nobody gets rewards. And we're going to move one down here. Just a little bit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move my card and one kick size to the chamber. Oh, Move it over. Move it over so the character's up. Uh, Rick. Until the start of each player's turn, then they choose to destroy one of their cake slices. Alright, uh, slice of cake. Yep, so you put it in any one of those loops. Uh, move the test subjects. Um, uh, no. Uh, move this guy right here. That gets you another card. Subjects are infinite. Well, yeah, yeah. Cool. it's the cake that matters. Yep. Mm. All right, uh, that's it. All right, I'm gonna move three over here. Okay. And then activate this that one. chamber. Okay, so you get one slice of cake, and you get two more test subjects. Okay. So put your cake and your test subjects anywhere in the new edge. So this one gets recycled, so you, lost, you, you have a net loss of one test subject, yeah. but you gain cake, so yeah. there you go. Yeah. And go ahead and put that one wherever you want. Alright. Take care. Okay. Alright. Doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> Alright, okay. Mikey. Alright. For my turn, I will portal these two over to here. Okay, go ahead. I will destroy this chamber. Okay. You're going to activate that one. All right. Anybody who's in there actually gets it. So Gonzo gets two pieces of cake. I get two pieces of cake. So there's your cake. Oh, yeah, anybody who's in the test chamber gets a reward. Oh. And we each get one test subject. They also lose the test subject. Do I? Oh, there they are. Okay. Oh, my other Okay, so I'm going to put mine right there. And the cake there, and my other cake there. All right. Put them anywhere. Yeah, put them on anywhere on the new edge. All right. Um, okay, you get uh, one test subject. Too. And one. Right. Let's get recycled, but you can place that wherever you want. It will go here. Okay. All right, my turn. All right, I am going to move. These two and my cake back here. And then. Oh, shoot, that was a bad move. Son of a bitch. And I've read the repeat cards, so I can't do that. Damn it. Alright. Um, and I will activate this test chamber. So, Gonzo, you get another test subject and two cards. Alright, so, mm -hmm. uh, right, I'm gonna 
right here, while well, I'm mean, um, deploying the arrow faceplate to do that. Okay. Bird, a uh, player moves their test subjects, they must move all of their test subjects from that chamber. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. And so, let me move. Well, I'm just going to move this guy uh, here. Okay. You gotta activate a chamber. So yeah, you don't get another card. Here. So nobody's in there, so nobody gets the reward. It's fine. If it doesn't fit, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Let's you get the idea. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. And, uh, yes, that's it. Okay. Alright. So we can take other people's cake, right? You can take other people's cake as long as your test subject is in the same chamber with that person's cake. Okay. Here? Okay, you get a card or you get another test subject card. if you want to do that. That's all you're going to do. Uh, then I'll activate the one on the left there. Okay, nobody's in there. Yep. So. Alright, that's the side that you need to go. Alright. Okay. Over to you, Mikey. Okay. I'll just move this one guy. Okay. That allows me to get one more. Uh, this is only one piece, I guess. Yeah, you can either get another test subject or a card. Okay, well, for now, I will take one uh, more test subject. You have to move uh, all the rest of your test subjects. Oh, he's right. If you move it from one, that, that's the rule that's in effect right now with the bird. So you have to move. If you decide to move that one guy, you have to move both guys, and then you wouldn't get the. Oh, shit. I gotta do that. Okay, then. I'll just move this one guy. That'll work. Okay. <laughs> and then um, I get one piece. I can place him anywhere on the anywhere edge. Anywhere on the edge, on this edge. And then I'll place him here. Okay. And I will destroy this chamber. Okay. So my cake gets incinerated. That gets recycled. Let me double check on the turret whether the turret gets recycled or not. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But... Ah, damn. Nineteen. Nineteen! Okay, so the turret stays in that chamber. Oh look, if it activates, it'd be another turret. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, is that where you wanted this one? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay. You have to find like an instrumental version of Still Alive, and that has to be the background. <laughs> oh, there is one. Uh, no, I know. Oh, yeah. All right. And since Jonathan Colton's like really cool, oh, yeah. you'll probably be able to get away with using it. Totally. Yeah. Okay, so my turn. All right. Um, got what three K soon, but I'm tied with I'm tied with both of you actually. All right. Um, I am actually going to use the play card, but I'm going to deploy the portal gun. All right. And in case you're wondering, this little dude has always been known as Bendy, apparently. Oh, okay. <laughs> Once at the start of each player's turn, they may move one of their test subjects to an adjacent chamber. Okay. So, so you get a free move, basically. Cool. Yeah. All right, and then I'm going to take the portal out of there, and I'm going to put it here. And the other one? And the other yep, one. and that one, and I'm, then I'm going to move these guys over here. Okay. And I'm going to activate a test chamber. I'm going to activate this one because I don't want to give you bastards anything. <laughs> and then we'll put it here. All right. Okay. And uh, so now remember, you get a free move at the beginning of your turn if you want. Okay. Let's go. Here. All right. Um, Oh, destroy one test subject turret or companion. Okay. So, I'm just gonna... No, no, you, uh, no, you destroy the stuff in the, you destroy what's in the in the, in the chamber, not in the chamber, chamber, not, in the chamber, chamber, chamber not the chamber itself. Right. And you can all, yeah, and so the cake stays, the test subject goes. Cake stays. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It says you can only remove a test subject, the turret. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. And okay. Now, does that do anything to me, or just because I was outside of the normal round, I don't get anything? 
Uh, you don't get anything, no. Okay, the test chamber wasn't activated, it was just... Okay. When an activated chamber is tied for the majority of the player activating that chamber, you may choose one of the tied players to earn the reward. So okay. it's like if Mikey activated a chamber and if you and me were in the same one, he'd get to decide who gets the reward. Alright, okay. Um, Alright, uh, I'm gonna move my guy here. Okay. And I'm gonna activate this chamber. Free move? Yep. Okay. Oh wait, no, the free move is no longer in, is no longer in play. Okay. Free move is no longer in play. Alright, then... So you want to either play a card... I can't. Then, yeah, I'm just going to go to my regular move. Okay. The same thing. Alright. And then I'm going to activate the... This chamber. Okay. Alright. Mikey. Okay, um... I have a question about this before I okay. Move all your test subjects from a single chamber to one adjacent chamber of your choosing. So, so basically, if I played this, you I, don't, I can move a character, do I get another move out of that or no? Yes. Okay, so I can move two characters? Yeah, pretty much. Pieces twice? Yeah. But it's like if you decide to activate it and use it for this one, you would move both these guys or you just move that guy. You've only got three test subjects on the board. So. Yeah. So yeah, you, get, you can move all, all three at this point if you using that card. But you use okay. the card first. Yeah. Well, I am using the card first. All right, then. Yep. All right. Discard it down there. And I'm the Franken turret. Once at the start of each player's, they may swipe one app player's app, one aperture card with another player's card. Okay. Well, <coughs> I'm glad it's your turn. So. Nope. Still your turn. I will move these two to here. Yep. That's that turn. That's okay. that turn. Now you get your regular move. Now for my regular move, I move this one guy. Okay. And take one more piece out of it. Uh, no. That's not only if you activate. You gotta activate chambers to get test subjects. Oh, oh wait, oh, I'm no, sorry. yes, he, yeah, yeah, you're right, you moved only one guy, I'm sorry, you're right, you're right, you do get another one, I apologize. I got confused, so yes. I see him here. Okay, my bad, sorry. It now, just now occurred to me where the fuck I put, like, the new test chamber. <laughs> Which one I moved. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay, so now you can activate You're a genius, bro. I do this So here's, every here's how this works. I'm activating this one. Okay. <laughs> Which gets me... Which gets your two guys back. Yeah. And a piece of cake. And then this one. Okay, flip that over, and the portal stays with that room. And I will place it here. Okay. So... And then you can put your two test subjects anywhere on the edge. Here, here, or there. Okay. And now I place the... Oh, the cake also on the edge. Either here, here, or there. People go there. Oh, put in the turret. That is yeah, smart. that's like the best place to put yeah. your cake is where the turret is, because anybody moves in there, they're automatically dead. All right. So, my turn. Okay. I will move... I will move one of my test subjects to this chamber, and I will take a card, and then I am going to activate this chamber. So, well, actually, Rosen, you get everything back, but you just, it gets destroyed and recycled. So okay. You get everything back on that. So, oh, the cake is incinerated, though. So what? one piece of your cake goes in, the, in here. Oh. The two pieces of cake go in here. Wait, wait, wait. Get ca oh, right. You, damn it. Yeah, you cake, get once you those two cakes, but these two are gone. All right. So, you get two more cakes. Yep, you get two more cakes. You know what the fuck I'm putting them in. And one more. Well, hang on. i got to place this first. Don't, don't put that there yet. No, 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 no. no yeah. God damn it. <laughs> See, this is why you should have waited. Oh, I might have put it down here, and you would have been fine. But no. Okay, now you can put your test subject. Fine, you still got to get to it. You still got one test subject. You can put it in. Uh, I'm going to put it... Okay. <laughs> tisk, tisk, Rosen. <laughs> I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> Fuck it all. Uh, okay, alright, Eddie. My key, sorry. Alright, my turn. Okay, um, so I can either draw a card or move? Um, you, well, you don't have any cards, so you can't, so you can't deploy. So, what you do is you, now you just go to the move phase. And if you move one test subject, you either get a new test subject or a new card. Okay. Um, I will move this one to here. Okay. I will take a card. All right. And I will just 
destroy this chamber. Okay, Rosa loses another piece of cake. Damn it. <laughs> Where do you want it? I will place it here. Okay. Yeah, why did Mikey go? I thought it was Gonzo's turn. Oh shit, he's right. We he's skipped turns. Reset. My bad. We, my bad. Okay. My bad. My bad. I'm hey, sorry. Alright, put that cake. Yeah, put that cake back in there. How's it going? Good. It's going. going. Just okay. waiting for I'm sorry. you. Just time everyone to leave. Yes. We're trying to figure out how to bring a portal board. Alright, we'll just say it's your it's your turn and we'll go. From They're doing oh, wonderfully. Yeah, did oh, you did not go. Actually, yeah, we skipped. Yeah, yeah. We skipped yeah, yeah. everybody. That's why we got confused. Because right, okay. we were fucking over Rosen. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Which is an appropriate distraction. <laughs> All right. Um, I am going. To subjects in the chamber. So rather than whoever's got the most, it's whoever's got the least that gets the stuff. Alright. Well, as of right now, that's a three-way tie. Well, no, but I'm in the actual chamber. So if somebody activated this one, oh. it, normally the reward would go to Rosen, but it goes to me. It would go to me because I've got one test chamber and he's got two under this. Well, this card's in Alright, well, I'm going to take uh, my guy the edge and I'll take the card. Okay. And Continue, yeah. <laughs> and I'm Look gonna... at that cake incinerator. <laughs> oh, All <yeah>. Team Rosen. <laughs> and I'm just going to place that right there. Rosen, yeah. I'm afraid I got some bad. You know he just got seated? He just left, right? What? Parrot, he just uh, resigned. Not resigned, but I'm doing I did not. Okay, now it's Mikey's. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're still fucking over Rosen. I'm sorry. Right, Welcome to fucking over Rosen. The game for all the whole family. Fun for everyone, except Rosen. Now, because that's cake the game. burns? <laughs> oh, God. Right, I'm thinking, who's cake burns? Right now, either my cake or Gonzo's cake. Hmm. Gonzo. This one. Okay. Alright, see you in a second. Wait, wait, wait. Did you move? No, I did not move yet. Alright, well, you do that after. That's the third part of the thing. So. Rosen's so intent on fucking over everybody now. <laughs> I'm gonna kill somebody's gonna be sad and I wanna know why I'm responsible. <laughs> I am going to incinerate. Hang on, no. You, you gotta move first, Rosen. Uh, card. Or is it the card? Oh, you're gonna play the incinerator yes, card. Okay, incinerator okay. Card. you didn't say that. I That's said, I'm we're... saying I'm playing the motherfucking okay, incinerator. Okay, go ahead. Choose a player with more cake in the laboratory than you, incinerate one of their cakes. That would be everybody. Okay. Yeah, yours is gone. Fine. And now, Doug Ratman is in play. Once at the start of each player's turn, they may place the companion cube token in any chamber. All right, and so I'm going to... Now you get to recycle. Yes. Do I get to move? Hmm? Oh, yeah, move next. Yeah. Uh, what does it mean yeah. Hi, Isaac. Hi, I'm going to move... And then I'm gonna activate the. Did you get anything from the vendor? Right, so day? let's see here. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Fair to go with your friend. All right. I don't think we have enough. We've only got one turret, so. Anything else or just that? Okay, I guess since the turret's in play, that doesn't activate, but let's see. My cake gets incinerated. Well, I get another guy. You get another test subject, but you lose two. Fair enough. Rosen on top of that net loss. <laughs> <laughs> it would still burn his cake. Actually, we're about even cake now. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's my turn. Now, yeah, it's, now turn. it's your turn. Now it's Mikey's turn, finally. Okay, question. What does the companion cube do? The companion cube, anybody, anybody, when I, uh, let's see. Whenever a test subject uh, is in the same chamber, they can't move. Because no, 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 no. If, right? the, if, if they're in a chamber and the companion cube's in the chamber that gets activated, no, nobody gets the reward. You're all transfixed by the companion cube. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So. All right. So shiny. All right, well, I'll do that, I guess. Okay. And I'll just drop it here. Okay. Oh, gee, thanks. Okay, now I move because I don't have a card. Right. Um, 
I will move you to here. Okay, you get a card or a new test subject, depending on what you want. Um, I will... I'll take that for now, I guess. Okay. And I'll destroy this piece. Okay, so Gonzo loses cake. Mikey gains cake. And two test subjects. So there's the thing. Where do you want it? Place that here. Okay. So here, 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 you can place your test subjects and your cake. Okay, well, I will place the cake here. Okay. Do I place the test subjects there too? No, you can place them in any one of the chambers, anywhere. You can place like one here and one here or whatever you want to do. You don't have to place your test subjects. Okay. Alrighty. So it's my turn. I'm gonna move the turret over here. Bye, Rosen. <laughs> you know what? I'm happy with that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, that brings in the fact core. The normal turn sequence has been modified. Instead of taking your move action second, you must take your move action last. Oh, okay. Okay. That starts on Gonzo's turn. That starts on Gonzo's turn, yep. So, and I am going to actually move through the portal. With me. And then I'm gonna activate this test chamber and wipe out Gonzo's cake. Uh, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> you haven't played that yet. Alright, so Gonzo, your, <laughs> your turn, and remember you move last this time. Well, I'm actually gonna. Oh, well, that won't yeah. last long. Yeah, <laughs> that didn't last back. long, anyway. Well, I'm gonna place the companion cube. Discard. Yeah, discard. Greg, once at the start of each player's turn, they may choose to destroy one of their test subjects to reveal any previously discarded character as the new guy character and reactivate their and restart their turn. March of progress. Science marches on. Me. If if someone loses all their guys, then the game's over. Yes. Somebody loses all their guys or loses all their cake. Game's and over. can the person who loses all the guys lose the game? Uh, no. It's no. whoever has the most cake. Whoever has the most cake wins. In the in, in the, the lab. Yeah. So right now, if the Ooh. game were to end right now, you and Mikey would be tied. I could do that. <laughs> I could do that really fucking easily right now. I don't believe you. I can't. I could just move my guy into the turret area and bam. Do it. You can't do it. Fine. He's done. All right. Game over. Hey, game Hang on. Over. Now let's figure out who wins. Rosen's a butthole. <laughs> hey, they fucked me over first. Okay. So who? Well, fuck me. I fucked yeah, you. Yeah, but here's the thing, Rosen. You got your guy and ended the game. Yep. You and Mikey are tied on cake. Mikey has more test subjects. God Mikey wins. <laughs> Congratulations, winner. Fuck me. Thank you for joining us for the Portal board game, otherwise known as Rosen fucks himself. Uh, oh, God. You goddamn fool. <laughs> you are winning too. No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so and that's promise. game. <laughs>